Blambros. It's stevecurrington.com if you're new. Blambros Steve, and today I'm, uh, it's Sunday. Um, I haven't, I haven't fired up the Lambo this morning, so I thought we'd start with a nice cold start. But today we're pranking Clay. Blue Clay Lamborghini, okay? Oh, wait, blue Lamborghini Clay, but look. So, Clay's been um, uh, complaining on Facebook that there's a a uh, person in a car with no lights or headlights or taillights on that's been creeping through his neighborhood and getting in people's mailbox at like all hours like midnight and four in the morning and whatever and so there's some dispute on whether it's like a newspaper guy or or whatever i don't really know but i thought it'd be fun to uh i know where he lives so it'd be fun to leave him a little note in his mailbox and then i don't know if i can film his reaction he's supposed to have this thing on his mailbox that triggers when someone opens it and so we're gonna drive over there and uh see if we can leave him a note and then see if we can film him so we'll be back oh wait but stick around for the uh startup So I literally left my hate mail on top of my car. So it's probably in my garage when I backed up. So I, anyway, I went, I went past his house. I made me a new, new hate mail. And I won't show you his address, but he's supposed to have something on his uh, house that triggers the mailbox. So I'm gonna hide on the other side of his truck after I put it in there. There's nothing on his mailbox. He's a, he's a liar. There's nothing in his mailbox that would trigger the mail opening. I gotta go ding dong ditch. What the fuck is that? Play the crybaby. Dang. <laughs> I'm in his tree. Huh. All right. Clay the crybaby! <laughs> Steve! Steve! I knew it had to be you! Clay the crybaby! <laughs> Why'd you 
your car? Oh, How'd crap, you get phone. over here? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, no, I thought it we'll, was a neighbor or something. We'll uh, we'll we'll frame yeah. we'll frame this in so that you guys can see um, what's going on in a minute. Uh, I'll do a little interview with Clay so you can see why we're setting up the mailbox bandit and uh, have fun. We'll see you in the next video later. Nothing. I saw your Facebook post and I was like, Oh, dude, I'm yeah. gonna go screw I with chased Clay. Him down. <laughs> Did you catch him? Do you know who it is? Uh, uh no. Dang. It's been uh. Weeks, dude. We have a so to to frame this a little bit. There's a there's a mailbox bandit in this neighborhood. Look at these mailboxes, how they're lined up. Boom, 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 boom. So Clay, the mailbox bandit is coming through at like three in the morning. Last night it was 12:30. Like I was literally sitting on my couch, and you can hear the vroom, stops, vroom, stops, and every time you hear dink, dink, really? like he's open. So. So I ran out because I realized what it was and he was already at the last mailbox and I yelled at him and he left and whatever. So, uh, so yeah, dude, it's uh, it's been like three weeks nonstop. You know what I think we need to do? So I'm going to uh, put a GPS tracker. So I'm going to melt a candle, hide a GPS tracker in it, drill a hole in the bottom so you can charge it. It's the last 14 days. Dump the wax back in and put it in a box to stick in my mailbox. Nice. So in case... You know, he, it'd still be a usable candle. So I'm like, if we can't catch him in action, hopefully he'll just throw it on his kitchen counter and freaking light right. it up and it's tracking his... No, or to leave so, it in the back of his car or do whatever. Never know, dude. Nice. So that's that's my plan. We have to, like, set up a stakeout to get him. Well, like, that's the thing, because everybody keeps talking about that. But last night it was 1230. Other nights random. it's like three. Others yeah. it's four. I guess Bixby PD, like, rolls through here around five or something. And morning, they said, somebody like, said... Oh, it could be the mailman from Tulsa World. He shouldn't be opening your mailbox. Well, that's the, that's, so Joe, you know Joe? Yeah. Did you see his comment? Yeah. So, um, another lady that I'm friends with in um, uh, Brooktown said the same thing. Or down there on like Brookside, Cherry yeah. Street. Yeah. yeah. So, she, um, same thing, Tulsa World, but they passing got out flyers, but nobody has flyers in their mailbox. He's just snatching checks and looking for whatever yeah because if you open someone's mailbox technically it's like a federal offense you're yeah. not supposed to mm -hmm. so the tulsa world would that's why they throw it in their yard your yard otherwise they always would do yeah that, right right, right. So, they wouldn't do that i don't so. know i'm gonna catch it one, one, all right one. well coming soon so coming soon we'll have a follow-up maybe that. we'll have a follow-up and we'll have a stakeout of um <laughs> catching the bandit so we'll be back